Hi guys, Greg at Best Choice Trailers. Today we're going to take a walk around the Lamar 7x20 H6 equipment trailer. This is what we call our deluxe model. We've also, we carry the same trailer, I'll say stripped or without some of the extras I'm going to point out in the video here. So again, this is the new uh, 7x20 H6 Deluxe from Lamar. Let's take a walk around the trailer, show you all the standard features. Uh, this unit is a 14,000 GVW. It's gonna weigh in about 3,000 pound empty. It's gonna give a net legal payload of about 11,000 pounds uh, on the trailer. So starting out up front, standard equipment's gonna be a two and five sixteenth inch Demco. Uh, coupler, this is the easy latch. If you're not familiar, as you lower the jack on, it's gonna auto uh, close. It's a 21,000 pound rated coupler as well. One of the few uh, two bolt couplers that'll actually work on a triple axle. So it's a nice cast, heavy duty. Uh, six hole, uh, four different settings you can put your coupler in to raise and lower. I believe it goes somewhere in the neighborhood about 17 to 22 inches, give or take on that. Uh, chain holder's nice, built in at the front of the trailer. Uh, you can also hook them up here, but on the Lamar, they make it nice. You've got your holders built in. Uh, the wiring harness is a seven pin. It's a blue cold weather wire harness, which just means it stays flexible on cold days like today. It's also got a seven RV plug, uh, standard equipment on most uh, modern pickup trucks built in say the last 20 years. This is a 12K jack. It's got two zerts on it for serviceability. It's the traditional side wind. If you're not familiar, basically you've got an outer leg and an inner sleeve. So basically your, your inner leg is, uh, you basically pull your handle and it'll raise lower Normally we find two or three holes out, tends to work about right for most vehicles. And then you would use your top wind to go the rest of the way. The, the, I should say the side wind handle will adjust the outer sleeve. Uh, standard equipment, of course, with your breakaway cable, if the trailer would ever come disconnected, uh, you know, you use the wrong size ball, whatnot, uh, pull this out and uh, you've got a battery on board to bring the trailer to a stop. Uh, optional equipment on this would be your toolbox. It is an A-frame box, fits nicely into the space provided. It is lockable with your with your uh, key lock on the front there. It does have a gas shock, uh, but that is uh, optional for this particular trailer. It does come with a three-year structural warranty made in the USA. It is NATM compliant, and actually it's got the bullet LED lights for standard equipment. The trailer is charcoal gray in color. Uh, we like the look of the charcoal. We think it looks a little better than your typical black trailer. And then it's got the black wheels, which give it a nice uh, clean look. Headache rack standard equipment, as is the 2x8 pressure-treated pine deck. Uh, we do add the D-rings on this. They are not standard equipment. It is a four-inch ring as well, not a three-inch. I uh, put those into four corners for your equipment. It's also going to come standard with stake pockets, and then you've got alternating chain spool or pipe spools, and then back to your stake pockets, and then standard would be rub rail for additional tie-downs. Notice it is a continuous rub rail. Starting to see more and more uh, pieced together rub rails. Uh, this is a continuous, so you got tie downs all the way basically from the front to the, um, to the front of the fender. Uh, it is a removable fender and the trailer is a double broke, uh, fender. So you've got two brakes in it, just gives extra strength to it. And then the remo removable makes it nice. We find for replacement, or if I'm going to haul, say a skid, I can put forks on either side of the tire and basically set skids down on it. Just makes it uh, super handy. Slipper spring suspension, standard equipment, which is pretty common on most 14K equipments. What's not always standard is the wet bolt kit or your grease dirt that's facing you for some extra serviceability. This particular one uh, has a, a black mod wheel. It's an eight on six and a half lug pattern. Uh, this does have the newer style um, easy lube hubs. It's a cold day, so I don't think I'm going to have much luck in getting that off. But basically, there's a grease zert behind there. Uh, we recommend uh, you can pull the whole cap off or just the black. Uh, but take a, a paper towel or similar and a cloth and just wipe the uh, grease away. And then uh, put your gun on the grease zert. And it's going to go in the outer bearing 
in the inner bearing and then out the outer bearing, out the outer. And once you see it come out to the outside, you can stop greasing. Don't over grease it or it'll push the, uh, the axle seal out. Uh, this does also have the newer Ford adjusting brakes. If you're not familiar, they will self-tension, similar to an automobile uh, throughout the life of the pad. Very little maintenance required uh, to them. So it's got the newer style Ford adjust brakes. You've also got 23580R16. That's a load range E10 ply radial tire. Uh, take 80 pound of air and 90 to 120 foot pound of torque whenever you retorque your wheels. You do have some additional tie downs to the rear of the trailer. So behind the axle, you've got rub rail, stake pockets, chain spool, and then also the optional tie down. Uh, one thing you don't always see in equipment trailers would be a gusseted beaver tail at the back. Uh, fairly uncommon. And then this also has a tread plate beaver tail instead of the wood, which tends to be a little more durable. Some folks do add winches, and this just makes it a little easier to get stuff up on uh, than the wood. Stand-up ramps, we call these deluxe ramps. They're just a little bit wider, and then they've got the heavier mesh face. It just allows you to load a lot of items a little easier. Uh, anything from golf carts to John Deere Gators to zero-turn mowers, so not only able to handle, I'll say, the bigger equipment, but some of the smaller equipment doesn't like a traditional ramp uh, like these, what we call, again, stand-up deluxe ramps. It just likes them a little bit better. Uh, they are spring-assisted. It does also have a kicker knee for adjustability uh, on the knee itself. Cross members on these, instead of being an angle iron or a boxed-in tube. Traditional five-foot ramp with a two-foot beaver tail. It's what's on most equipments. Uh, you can load most items with this. Again, it is an equipment trailer, but some cars and uh, certainly pickup trucks, Jeeps, all that stuff seem to go up on these just fine. Spare tire mount is an option. We put it on. just gives you a nice spot if you do want a spare tire. The uh, tongue and frame, I should mention, I guess, but it's similar to most every manufacturer. Most everybody in the industry is going to have a six-inch channel full wrap tongue and then a six-inch channel mainframe. Uh, one thing maybe a little bit different on Lamar, this is a 16-inch on center, which most are. You might find an economy one. It'll be a 24 uh, but this is structural channel cross members. This isn't form steel, something worth pointing out. Like most manufacturers, it's going to have brakes, of course, on both axles. It's going to be a straight axle, not a drop axle. Straight axles tend to be a little more durable. Um, and again, brakes on both axles, and you've got underneath, you saw your sealed wiring harness, and the trailer does have spring suspension. This is available in different lengths. We stock at 16, 18, 20, 22. And then we also do some in a 24 foot. 24 goes to a eight inch tongue and frame upgrade. We also stock it in what you see here, 7K axles. And then we'll do some with tandem 8K axles, typically 20, 22 foot. And then we bring some in with triple 7,000 pound axles as well. And we do currently offer this in a gooseneck model as well. If you do want uh, a gooseneck, I believe those we're doing right now in 22 and I believe maybe a 24 foot as well. If you have any questions on this or any of our other trailers, feel free to give us a ring at 717-220-4220, or you can visit us on the web at bestchoicetrailers.com. Thanks for looking.